hello good morning okay so I'm gonna show you the full skincare range now I'm gonna do the exfoliation I'm gonna do the mask um, what I'll try and do is put that little cutscene thing through so I don't you know just sit looking at me for 10 minutes while I have the mask on um, so yeah let's just get started I think I think I've got everything here I just know I haven't got a mask brush but that's fine because I can just use my hands so I have taken my rings off with this one it's used to stay with my nails I'm waiting closer to be able to go home to be able to do my nails um, but just because obviously you know we're using an exfoliator I don't want that to ruin my jewelry as well I have my spatulas with me because of course main rule we do not double dip um, so yeah let's just get started I'm sorry we haven't had um, a a um sorry a video for a little while um unfortunately my daughter was poorly so now we're getting back to it as you can see i squished myself into a corner because we are having a whole revamp of the beauty room at the moment so there's more to come on that so i've literally just used this little bit of water just on my face just to be able to spread the cleanser around so you see it was what it looks like a pump and a half or something before let's try one pump see how far that goes so I hope everyone is well. Oh, I really do love this stuff. So obviously because my daughter's been in and out of hospital, I haven't actually been able to continue with the skincare. And straight away you can see I've had a couple of breakouts, but probably due to stress and stuff as well. But she's so much better now. I honestly feel like you may only need like half a pump of this. I don't think you actually need like a pump and a half. So, again, it's just showing that you do not need much of the product. I should get in the nose there. So I haven't put a headband on because I'm actually about to go and wash my hair after this anyway. So that's the reason why. Hmm. I'll scrub on the double chins there. So I have just got a towel and stuff with me, um, just mainly because I don't want to keep you guys forever and ever. So my washables here and some warm water. So it's good to use warm water, obviously not too hot, especially if you have sensitive skin. So we're just going to remove and it's always good to use some cool water afterwards as well. It starts to close your pores but that's just if you're sort of normal face washing because obviously we don't want to close the pores just yet because we're still going to be using products another quick go oh it feels so nice my skin feels so refreshed already Happy Mother's Day to all the mummies out there. Lovely. Okay. Do you want to walk down me already? This is a great start, isn't it? Okay, so I like to do a little bit of a tone in between. It just feels really nice. So I'm just going to do a little tone as well because why not? For all my clients that said they want videos, subscribe. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys, not for me. So please do remember to subscribe and pop the notifications on as well so you can see when a new video has been uploaded. Also, do let me know if there's anything else that you want to see because need some ideas of what you guys want to see because you've asked for them I'm not really sure what kind of videos you like so okay so here we have the calming facial exfoliator okay so obviously it's the first time using it as I've mentioned many times before I do have this bit of a problem just around here so I'm not gonna go too rough I'm gonna use the rest of my face first see how that feels and then just slowly and gently go in between and then obviously I'll let you know if I feel anything that maybe it's still too strong 
because that can happen with like rosacea and stuff is that sometimes even the, the calmest of skincare can irritate so you just got to be nice and gentle so as you remember it's like a gel with little little beads in there I'll be able to see a bit better in here actually can you see okay so because this is a gel I really don't think I'm gonna need very much at all so I'm gonna try this and then if I do need more, obviously I'll use the other end of the spatula. My hands are already clean, or I will use a fresh spatula. So let's just pop that on there. Maybe a little bit of water as well, just to... Yeah, I don't think people are going to need this much, actually. Yeah, I probably actually got too much even there, if I'm honest. So I'm doing around here, but I'm not going in here just yet, or under the nose. It's really nice. It's, it's actually, um, it feels quite refreshing, probably because it's a gel as well. So when you're exfoliating, you can just use small circles. And really get into those areas that you know you suffer with like the dry skin cells okay so I'm gonna try here it feels absolutely fine at the minute which is really good also near the nose where we all struggle with those complicated blackheads hot pores gel you do undo here I can feel it, I can feel that it's an exfoliator, but it's really, really gentle. I'm going to go just under the chin as well, especially if you wear makeup. Don't forget your jawline. And ignore the cat. Crazy zombie cat. This feels really good. So I can feel it working. That is, and I can feel the exfoliating beads, but it doesn't, it's one of those where, yes, you can feel it, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable. I don't feel like I'm taking layers and layers off my skin. So, let's have a look at the nose. It's a bit difficult to see with the light at the minute because I kind of blocked out some of the light, but it doesn't. Uh, I made the mistake of trying an exfoliator, I powdered it once so I thought it would be okay and I could feel that stinging straight away and my face come up really really bad with it. So that's all I'm going to do because I don't want to do too much. I'm not going to go change the water because it's only me. So, okay, and then we just remove gently. if you can actually see the beads or not it's gonna be really difficult for you to see because they are like minuscule they are very very small but that's because we have sensitive skin you don't want anything too harsh you don't want anything too big YouTube's catching my funny faces again that I pull so with an exfoliator, <clears throat> you really want to make sure that you do get it all off. Because obviously if you're going to go from an exfoliator straight to a moisturiser for instance, you're obviously going to be pushing those uh, the exfoliator through with the moisturiser. And obviously you know that sometimes a little bit, it will be uncomfortable and you just want to make sure that all of it is off. So again, you can use a toner again after this. It just helps to pick up anything left over. My skin feels really, I've said it before, but it feels very refreshed. Um, it's not feeling sensitive, it's not feeling sore. I've got the air con on because the beauty room is really, really hot, it's really hot, sorry. Um, but it's not, 
it's not stinging like I can feel that the exfoliate has worked but it's not uncomfortable if that makes sense so you know when you feel your skin tingling a little bit but it's not a horrible tingle light so you can see how it's affected my face so I'm not sure so as you can see it has come up a little bit red but that's expected so but super smooth you still have got a couple of the little beads you can see here these are little bits so these are the little exfoliating beads but that is just wiping straight off feels really smooth and now before as you can see I said I was breaking out a little bit before when I used the exfoliator on my skin like this this come up like literally bright red it was really bad um, I'll see if I can put a picture actually in um, in the video so you can see um, but here only a small amount but that is expected with an exfoliator anyway so it's not but it's not stinging or anything you know I really oh sorry if you can hear my phone going off <laughs> um, yeah so it's not stinging in any way it's not painful in fact actually it just feels really smooth and really nice so I'm just going to do a little toner because sometimes when you put a toner on afterwards if you're unsure if your skin's a little bit sensitive you'll be able to feel it with the toner so the kids see i told you if it's not the cats it's the kids so yeah, there's always something going on in this crazy house and i can't put the music on behind me because um i probably it'll probably stop while i'm trying to do the video so let's just do the test nothing tiny bit do you know what I'm actually really surprised I genuinely thought uh, my skin was going to react because I haven't really found anything except for the SVR um, sensitive facial wash and SVR moisturizer and stuff where my skin hasn't really reacted nothing that's great I am so bringing one of these kits back for myself so I don't use all the facial products for the clients. I'm going to do that, I think. Right now I can feel it's warming up a little bit around the nose. But again, it's not stinging or anything. So that was the uh, Mulberry and Pomegranate Facial Exfoliator, which is in a gel. And as you could see from that tiny amount I just used, it was more than enough. And my skin feels so smooth really lovely so for the facial mask we've got the white nettle and chamomile so let me just show you this one here so when it comes to a facial mask the recommended time is around 10 to 15 minutes but you know your skin will still absorb um, um, you know the nutrients stuff that the face mask is putting in so even if you can only do a quick like seven minute one that's fine as well um, but to sort of get you know the real benefits of the facial mask you want to leave it on for about 10-15 minutes so we're going to do that now and then what I'm going to do is stop the video and see if I can try and do that cutscene if not it's going to end up as two videos because I'm with technology I'm getting used to this whole YouTube thing so I'm going to use a fresh spatula so one of the main things, the reason why we use the spatulas, as I know you guys have probably noticed when I'm doing your intimate waxing and stuff, is I never double dip. I turn the spatula. And that's because this is going on your skin, so it's hygienic, it's for hygiene reasons. This is already going on your skin when you do it with a spatula. Um, so you don't want to be then dipping, uh, you know, skin cells and stuff back in, so you then turn it around. And that's how we keep it hygienic. So it's exactly the same with facial products because if it's going on one person's skin you don't want any bacteria or anything off one person's skin going back into the pot which then you know goes on client after client after client and that's where you have the problems so if you remember this facial mask here is a cream mask 
So I'm just going to give it a little scoop off the top actually. Now I'm unsure of how much of this I'm going to need. I can't see it being much just based on the other products. But obviously, you know, we want a good coat. So I'm going to try about this much. So as you can see, it's barely made a dent. And I think this is probably going to be more than enough just based on the rest of the products. So I'm just going to put it on with my fingers, no face brush, uh, mask brushes because I'm being lazy. It's only me. This is actually probably more than enough already. I've actually probably got too much on here. Smells so good. So again, jawline. Underneath the jaw here. I've got too much. I've definitely got too much. I probably needed about a third, actually, of this. See, I've still got loads. It's fine, we will make it work. So, as I just said, I'm going to wash my hair soon anyway, so you won't. It doesn't matter, I haven't got a headband on. And um, because it's only me. So, they always mention with face masks as well, obviously, don't go too close to the eyes. And also, try and remember to go right to your ear and right to the hairline, as close as you can get. Maybe I'm by the nose there as well. So I think because this is a cream, it's probably going to absorb quite well as well, depending on how dry my skin is. So right to the hairline because this is one of the bits that always gets missed is here you see some people missing it with makeup and if you are not missing it with your makeup it's something that normally gets missed when you're cleansing or washing your face as well so there's a few things you can do while this face mask is on in a facial you would probably have a nice aroma cotton pad on and relax depending on what kind of facial you choose you might get the option of a hand and arm massage or you might get the option of a foot and leg massage or even a chest and decollete massage with along here and then especially if you are actually if you have booked you know the full facial and just under the nose bit here as well if you have actually booked you know the full facial with massage then you probably start with the chest and neck massage first and then when the mask comes off you'll work up there as well and by the way if any of you have not experienced a scalp massage before you are missing out it is it's something I would recommend adding to your treatment and you can have that while the face mask is on as well so it's just uber relaxing you can also just have it separately if you wanted to. So if you're one of those people that the favourite part of going to the hairdressers is when you get that, you know, the scalp scrub almost. Oh, it's so worth it. It's so, so worth it. So I'm not going too close to the eyes here, just putting under. So there we go. There's the face mask on. Again, it feels absolutely fine. Make sure we get in there as well. Another bit that can get missed. Okay, so as you can see, we're bringing it down. The neck's actually quite an important part of facials, um, which a lot of people don't realise. And it's a part that gets missed a lot as well. So I don't know if you guys are into, you know, your anti-aging skincare and stuff, but with that, you will always find that they say, you know, bring it down your neck, and even sometimes along your chest area as well. So it's because this skin here, you know, and especially under your chin, does age along with the rest of you, and this gets missed a lot, and that's what you find, like, there's a lot of the new stuff coming out about, you know, like, wrapping under the chin I know when I do an inch loss bad, uh, body wrap one of the things is the chin um, and you know it just helps that the the coffee that so the caffeine 
that's in the products to absorb and it just pulls that up as well so it helps with that tightening effect so when you have a massage and stuff done on your neck it actually the the movements are to help with that process so you know um there's a lot of you've got a lot of effleurage and then you've got a lot of the the flicking movements as well and that is to help with the the aging and promoting you know the collagen and promoting that movement to be able to tighten that skin so that is the mask done so i'm now going to leave this on for about 10 15 minutes i'm going to stop the video here um and as i said hopefully i'll be able to do that cut scene thing um and then when we come back i'll then remove the face mask and we're just going to do you know a tone moisturize maybe the serum as well although actually probably just the moisturizer for me just because um i'm going to be having a shower anyway so you know i would suggest if you're going to do this don't wash your hair and stuff afterwards unless you're going to make sure you leave your face alone otherwise it's just going to waste the product but the reason why i'm doing this is obviously just to show so what i'll probably do actually saying that is i'll probably remove the mask and tone and then i'll moisturize after i've washed my hair so yep looking wonderful Okay, so this is the white nettle and chamomile calming face mask. So hopefully what this will also do is help to calm down my skin if it has reacted in any way um, to that exfoliator. But as I said, like I can feel, it's actually got a little bit of a tightening effect as well. Um, but this is not bothering me whatsoever. It's other than the little bit of the feeling of tightening, I can't really feel anything. There's no stinging, no nothing. So. I think I've just found the perfect range for myself as well. So it just goes to show organic natural products really does work well for your skin. It is much more calming, you haven't got any of the chemicals and stuff there, you know, you haven't got any of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just choking on air, um, you know, it's, it's radical free, all that kind of stuff. So you and you also know what's going on in your skin, which I, you know, I've, I've mentioned this before. It's a really important thing to realize what you're putting on your skin. So if you do go out and buy like one of those, um, just any sort of moisturizer, you really want to have a look. One of the main tips I will give you is when you are buying a facial product, if you look at the ingredients, the first thing you should see on that ingredients list is normally aqua. So it means that obviously it's made with water. If one of the first things you see, especially on a toner, is alcohol, it's going to be very very strong it's going to be very strong for your skin it's probably going to burn you know it's it's a lot of products do have the alcohol in there but it's not one of the first things and sometimes i think nowadays products are a lot better they're not as much as you use straight straight away with you know the alcohol um you know so as i said this is paraben free sulfate free glycerol mineral oil so all those kind of things that can irritate your skin it doesn't have so yeah it's just a little tip for you if you are out you need a different moisturizer just be careful make sure that you're looking and let me see if it says the same on here so it should be where's my ingredients there you go straight away can you see I don't know if it's gonna come in close enough ingredients aqua so obviously, you know, it does have some of the, the alcohol type products in there. I'm oh, sorry, I can't read backwards, so I can't tell you what that is. Um, but yes, the very first thing in this product is aqua. And I think even though the rebalancing, so you should be able to move it around a little bit more here. It's very harsh on the skin. It depends what kind of properties are the ones that they use. <clears throat> But that is what you are looking for in your products. The first thing in the ingredients is aqua. Right. I don't even know how long I've left this on for now. I am going to go and I will try and do that. Um, link these two together so it's just one video. So I'll speak to you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. So I actually have left this on longer because I ended up being busy. I'm always busy. Um, and doesn't help the fact that I had to come and hide upstairs because... My kids have said that I'm banned from my own kitchen. Um, it's my birthday today, so I think, I, I don't know. My daughter's just like, no, no, don't dare look in the kitchen. Full of attitude. So, let me show you. So, I, ha I actually do still have the face mask on. But as you can see, a lot of the product's been absorbed. And it's almost like, like, um, like an 
oily residue almost. So I've got my fresh water. Let's take it off and see. It does. So I keep making these weird faces. It does feel a bit tighter as well. Um, and sometimes that can happen when you need the extra moisture and stuff in your skin. Oh, it definitely comes off just like a cream. Nice. Super soft. always feels so nice. I can't remember the last time I've had time to do a mask as well, do you know what I mean? It's, and the good thing is as well, like if you want, if you really don't, if you're like me and you're constantly busy and you really don't have time for this, you can just do what I did, whack it on and then go and get your jobs and stuff done or do whatever it is you need to do. So let's use this side, try and move. This is going to be one of those masks that takes a few go overs to remove. Like, you can feel. It's so nice though. But you know, you do get that with a cream sometimes. And it also depends on if it's sort of oil based or water based as well. I would say this is a bit of a mix, but I would say it's maybe an oil based. But it won't be very much because obviously don't forget we're using this for the sensitive skin. So I am thinking of possibly doing a few little competitions on the YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and put your notifications on people. So relaxing, I feel like I need a little nap. <laughs> so let's just finish this up. So I don't know if you can see, but I can feel the difference in my skin. And then we'll go over. We're going to go in with a toner in a minute anyway. So, you know, one thing to be aware of if you are toning and stuff in between like I did. One of the good things, one of the reasons why I kind of do it a little bit for my skin is because obviously I know it's quite sensitive. So it closes the pores a little bit because it's cold. Um, but it is still, you know, helping the product to absorb into your skin as well. I wonder when I'm going to be allowed back downstairs. <laughs> it's not like they're in a party without me at the minute. So... Yep, as you can see, my skin is not irritated. It's up close and personal here, but you can see that it's not been irritated. It's actually calmed these down. They were actually a little bit uncomfortable this morning, and now they're not. This one a tiny bit. But I don't know if you can actually see a little bit, but still. But it's really difficult. I don't know if you can see the pores. Do not look blocked. I don't even know if you guys could see that, but <laughs> I know I can see it and I can definitely feel it and it genuinely feels silky smooth, which is so nice. Honestly, I'm really loving these products. I really am. Um, 
I'm really glad that I chose these products to go for now in the Kezo range. So again, it's just a Molbium Pomegranate Calming Toner. I'm not going to moisturise just yet because I'm going to moisturise after I've had a shower. I can feel the difference as well as like, as I'm pulling the tone around, there's like no resistance on my skin, it's just sliding, which is a really, really good sign. So I can feel the toner is a little bit more tingly than it was before, but you know, we've just done exfoliating and a mask. So it's quite a lot for your skin. So you can do this with a mask weekly. Some people like to do it a little bit more. Um, it just it depends on your skin type. Um, some people do like weekly facials. And then some people, like I've added, especially on my VIPs, like a mini, mini one. So you're just having a, to a, a cleanse, tone exfoliation, deep exfoliation, and moisturize so you can have that in between your facials in between with the mask so normally facials are recommended every sort of like four to six weeks some people like them every three um, it really does depend it depends on your skin type you know if your skin is changing at that point and it's become quite sensitive or it's become very dry then obviously you know um, a couple of extra facials is good but for sensitive I would probably wait a little bit longer in between um, so yeah this this stuff is so um, what's the word? Brain wobble. It's so, um, obviously, you know, I'm using the calming range, but it's so gentle on your skin that you could definitely do this every week if you wanted to. I mean, it depends, again, it depends on your skin type, it depends on uh, where your skin's at in the regeneration, depends on whether you need another mask or not, but definitely exfoliation is very good. Some people do it two to three times a week, um, but really... If you have a decent exfoliation done with a decent exfoliator, you may need it maybe once, possibly even twice a week if you really wanted to. I have already started putting together, I have got a few a few um, clients that have wanted orders of their own skin skincare set to do at home um, in between. So, yep, just let me know if you want anything like that. So, I think that is me done. I need to see if I can put all these together. I know I do have the picture of where my face come up really badly um with the exfoliator that i tried a couple of months ago um and i've used that exfoliate before never had a problem until i had this issue here and i'll put that picture up because it will just show it will show the difference between the two because it was so painful literally my entire face well not my entire face all this area here it come up like burnt and then when it started healing it went super super dry so it was literally almost like it burnt my skin um so it just goes to show that this product hasn't done that so it is very very calming very gentle um and as you can see i think you can just ask me if you're using the toner but it's very fresh like you can see my skin is fresh so yeah definitely going to be keeping up with this excuse my hair everything's a mess so yeah very very good i'm impressed I am genuinely impressed. I really did think, I, sorry, really did think that my skin was going to react to the exfoliator. So I'll make sure I'll put that picture in. I'll try and fit it in when I was talking about it in the first video. If not, I'll put one up around about now. And then you can see the difference. Um, but yeah, if anybody wants to get their treatments and stuff booked in, let me know. There will be extra stuff coming out with the, um, the facials very very soon um and yeah it will be happening though when i get back from the uk because as you can see we are revamping this entire room so yeah i'm super excited i have lots of new equipment but that's that's for another time so stay tuned and i will let you know what's happening and don't forget to please subscribe and put your notifications on. If you don't want to subscribe, that's absolutely fine. But please do message me what kind of videos that you do want to see. Um, and then I can always just put in the group quickly as well. You know, there's a new video up, but I just don't want to spam the group. Um, 
so if you don't want to subscribe that's absolutely fine just send me a quick pm with what you want to see and yeah so i will speak to you all soon i'm unsure if i'm going to be able to get another video up before we travel um but i will let you know and i will keep you updated i may even do one in the uk because obviously my skin will change when i get to the uk because the weather is completely different I might even still have some snow up in Wales, so <laughs> I will keep you updated and I will let you know how my skin fares in that as well. Um, hair, your hair. Here, it's very harsh water. We have actually got those filters for the shower and they did make a massive difference, you know, with the iodes and stuff like that. Um, but obviously the water, especially in Wales, is a lot softer. So we'll be able to see the difference with skin and hair, as in body-wise as well, skin and hair. I am extremely tempted to bring some more of these products back with me, um, including the body moisturisers and stuff as well. If this can do this well on facial skin, then I'm pretty sure the body scrubs and stuff are going to be amazing as well. So depending on what room I have, I will probably just start packing other products in my bag. But again, I only have a few days before I go on Friday. So if you do want any of these skincare sets, please do let me know because I do need to work out my the weight and stuff and I also need to order them and get them to um, my parents so let me know and I will leave you with this I literally am so impressed my skin looks better it feels so much better I think it really did need it and I think I really needed this little bit of a relax as well by having this on so yeah I'm gonna go wash my hair now because I feel a bit trampy <laughs> so I will speak to you all soon and don't forget to let me know what you want to see next.